Hello everyone, Assalamu Alaikum and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be about the Charlotte Tilbury products that I own and what are my reviews on them. Are they really worth the hefty price tag that they come with? Most famous product which I'm sure you all know is the Pillow Talk range. It started with the Pillow Talk lipstick and then she extended it to a Pillow Talk blush, a Pillow Talk quad, a Pillow Talk palette of pops and then an entire Pillow Talk collection. The products that I own from Charlotte Tilbury are the Pillow Talk quad, the Pillow Talk blush, her matte formula lipstick in the shade Love Liberty, her Eyes to Mesmerize cream eyeshadow in the shade Mona Lisa. Okay, so today we'll be starting off with the face makeup. So for primer, I will be using my Touch and Soul No Pore Blim Primer. So Charlotte Tilbury looks are very feminine to medium coverage foundation and dewy finishes. So for um, the luminous glow, I will be using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. For foundation I will be using I only use this much because I don't like very full coverage or very cakey foundation I like my skin to be through and uh, especially because I have applied this luminous primer underneath I want this to show through so I will be applying a very thin layer of foundation so for concealer I will be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer I to apply little dots underneath and then blending out with my fingers. So my concealer is done and I will immediately set it with Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and again I will be using my ring finger. So I just like to tap my ring finger in the powder and tap off the excess and swipe under my eye to set the concealer. I know this might not work for most of you but for my skin type and for my preference it works perfectly fine. So for bronzer I will be using my Hoola by Benefit Bronzer. You know this is a cult classic and I love this. I will first be tapping it in the hollows of my cheekbones and then blending it so now we move on to the first Charlotte Tilbury product of this video and that is the pillow talk blush by Charlotte Tilbury of course and it looks something like this so I will be using a very fluffy uh, blush brush and uh, the way Charlotte describes using this product is that you have to swirl or swish your brush on the outer perimeter and then pop in the middle to get the perfect shade. But I like to just swirl my brush on the product, tap off the excess and apply on the apples of my cheek. I really love the finish of it because um, it gives a very soft glow to the cheeks and the quality is amazing. I mean, it does feel luxurious. It does feel that it is of a premium quality, but I have a blush very similar to this color and that is the Rimmel blush in the shade I think pink rose. I don't have it with me right now because I ran out of it. That was something that I used almost on a daily basis uh, because that was cheap and this is really expensive. You can find blushes and colors similar to this one right here but I personally love the quality of the product does not leave a streak behind and gives a very soft glow and sheen to the cheeks so i personally feel that i need this blush in my collection at all times 
because although I may find colors similar to this, but the quality is way better than any other blush that I've tried. You know that I love my Wet n Wild blushes a lot, but this quality is something different. So I personally feel that the Pillow Talk blush is something that you will love if you like nudey and uh, neutral blushes and you want to take a break from the usual pinky and coral uh, flush on your cheeks and want to invest in something that is very neutral and uh, something that you can wear every day i will highly recommend this blush although i feel that it is a bit pricey for what it is but at the end of the day it is charlotte tilbury charlotte tilbury is a premium brand so this product is a yes from me so coming on to my favorite part of the makeup routine the highlighter and for highlighter i will be using the wet n wild mega glow hello halo highlighter in the shade halo gorgeous <laughs> hello ninye halo ye <laughs> a very soft baby pinky sort of a highlight and that's why i decided to use this for today's tutorial because i read somewhere online that this shade is very very similar to um the pillow talk the original pillow talk beauty wand that she recently came out with Okay, so for lips, I will be using the lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury and it is in the shade Love Liberty. I've had this lipstick for about a year and a half now and I really love the formula of this lipstick. First of all, the packaging. The packaging is super luxurious it is heavy it does not feel cheap i love the rose gold packaging and um, so charlotte tilbury's matte lipsticks retail for 145 dirhams i think and that is a pretty hefty price tag for a bullet lipstick now whether they are worth the tag really depends on you because these are creamy these do stay on for a pretty long time they do leave behind a very soft and a very even stain but at the end of the day it comes down to your preferences whether you are willing on shelling out your money for just a bullet of lipstick i really like the formula and i would highly suggest it i will be filling in my eyebrows and for that i will be using my anastasia beverly hills brow wiz So for eye shades, I have two options from Charlotte Tilbury. One is the most talked about eye shade quad probably on this planet and that is the luxury eye shade quad by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Pillow Talk. These itty bitty four eye shades cost a lot. 225 dirhams is a big amount and you can easily get a Huda Beauty palette or a Too Faced palette or, uh, or um, an Anastasia palette somewhere between that range. So I had been contemplating for like 2-3 years on, on whether I should shell out on this or not whether it's worth it whether it's not because these are very muted pink shades which are easily available um in different palettes i have my naked three palette here somewhere just a second it has almost the same shades as the charlotte tilbury pillow talk collection and the eyeshade quality is amazing i love the pigmentation here and it has so many shades in the palette it has four shades and the way charlotte tilbury describes using it is that the first shade is the prime shade the second is the enhanced shade the third is the smoke shade and fourth is her special formula which is a pop shade they do look 
really pretty on the eyes but they don't swatch really well at least not on my skin tone do come out really nice on the eyes and give a very soft and a very feminine pillow talky kind of a look so one thing that i would like to uh, say about these cords is that they are really easy to use i mean they are perfect for someone who does not have a lot of experience with makeup and is really just starting out and does not have the best eyeshade skills but then again there are so many brands and products on the market that are super user friendly so i will be using this quad uh, exactly how charlotte tilbury uh, describes so i will be using this shade all over my eyes i was priming my eyes with the first shade and you can see it does not look really pigmented or uh, looks as if i have applied anything on my eyes because it is almost exact the same shade as my skin now we will be using the enhance shade we'll mostly be focusing it on my in my crease and uh, blending it outwards on the outer v now i'll be using the smoke shade i will be concentrating this color mostly in the outer v and then blending in the crease at this stage i feel that the eyeshade look has started to come together okay so i will be using the uh, prime shade in the inner corners of my eyes the internet is divided on this formula because there are some people who absolutely love this and there are some people who absolutely hate it i feel that this product is best applied with your fingertips the brush does not really pick it up well and i like just rubbing my finger in the formula and swiping on the eyelid now this is not the most pigmented glitter eye shade that i own but it just gives a slight wash of shimmer to your lids and really brings the entire look together the reason i bought this quad was because of the hype around this product and um, especially the pillow talk color the pillow talk shade and um, i love the pillow talk blush and i had heard 90% good reviews on the quad as well so i decided to bite the bullet and shell out my money on this particular product but i don't love this. i have a lot of eye shades from different brands and those are cheaper and better pigmented than this particular product and for that i personally feel that it is not worth the price tag especially because the pan sizes are so tiny 225 dirhams for four iri biri shades and these are not the most pigmented eye shades on the market you can get an entire huda beauty palette or an entire too faced palette or an entire anastasia beverly hills palette in almost the same price as this i don't think that this is something that you absolutely need i mean if you want um shades similar to this you can go and get the naked tree palette it has more shades and those are really pigmented and i really love the quality of that and um, as for the topper shade i've had this for about a month now and i feel that this has become a bit hard i have to really go in and swipe my finger and then press on my lids to get this level of sparkle and then again i feel that it is really sheer i will definitely not 
be getting any more of these cords so as for the second eyeshade product that i have and that is the eyes to mesmerize cream eyeshade in the shade mona lisa these are the most amazing cream eyeshades that i have i love this product i mean it is super pigmented it's super creamy it glides on really well and it is a bit pricey it retails for i think 125 dirhams but cream eyeshades last a lifetime packaging is super luxurious this is a frosted glass bottle it is a moussey creamy sort of finish and i just took this much on my finger and just look the pigmentation i mean the pigmentation is crazy i highly 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 recommend this product and i will be using this as my eyeliner so for lashes i will be using a new pair that i just got and this is by lily lashes these are the light mink lashes okay so i'm done with my lashes and i really love the quality and the look of these lashes one trick that i like to do to blend in the lashes is i like to take a pencil liner or a kajal and just line my lashes so it gives the appearance of a very thick lash and blends in the a uh, false lashes that you apply so i will be doing that and for that i will be using the huda beauty life liner okay so we are done with today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching it uh, if you were thinking of buying any of these products from shawlit tilbury i hope now you can make an informed decision don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys really soon bye